So we have mercuric ion catalyzed hydration of alkynes. And so the first thing we'll need is an alkyne. Our reagents will be mercury and then uh, and then it'll also be uh, water, right? And then also it has to be an acidic solution. So which I have right here, acidic solution. So the first thing we start off with is a alkyne, right? And so we have Ag2+, plus, so and the triple bond attacks it. So, so then a bond forms between the uh, alkene now, because it's a double bond, and the Hg. So now a carbocation forms here, and then water will attack this carbocation to form this. It'll form uh, this compound right here with OH2+. Plus. See, and notice how it's plus, so it's not as stable as it could be. So water again will come by and depronate it, making it OH, which is more stable. So now it's an acidic solution, right? So what does that do? So the acidic solution will cause it to get rid of the mercury. It'll get rid of the mercury and leave this. But we're still not done. This is called the enol, right? Which means it's a alcohol next to a alkene. And an alkene is just a double bond. So it's a alcohol next to a double bond. And that's enol. And um, that will actually undergo a transformation. Because in acidic solution, what will happen is a hydrogen, right? A hydrogen will form right there on the least substituted spot. So a carbocation can be the most substituted spot, right? Because remember the rules, um, a carbocation needs a lot more electrons, so it will be next to um, the higher number. So in this case, it'd be a tertiary spot. So it would be, I'm sorry, secondary. Um, it would be in a secondary spot um, because that's better than a primary. And But the thing is, even in this form, it's still not as stable as it could be. It can actually have a double bond right here, and it would be a positive charge on the oxygen. And then finally, um, what can happen is the the hydrogen can be depronated, right? And then you would be left with this, a double bond with oxygen, and this would be the most stable form. And um, the overall reaction would be this. If we had the original alkyne, um, we'd have all these products and you would get this form. But obviously you'd have to go through all those steps first to get this form. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.